Hello everyone, Brian here. Just wanted to make a video to say that uh, we're still around. We've been busy the last couple of months in December. We took a road trip. I think it was 11 or 14 day road trip across the country. And then in January, we took another one um, along California. And the cool thing about that trip is we got to visit a citrus grove and took some video and hopefully be able to post that up sometime. And then we had a birthday party for our one year old to get uh, set up and and prepare and all that stuff so now all that's done and hopefully we have more time to do videos um, we have a lot of work to do in the garden um, like f for instance this barley we got the seeds by accident there was a they shipped the wrong seeds so then we ended up with a bunch of barley seed and they were sowed here in this raised planter as a cover crop so we need to cut all this down and turn it into soil into the soil um, we also have a couple new citrus trees that we need to plant down so maybe up there we need to plant that uh, a lot of these things i won't be able to do with you on video um, we also have some trees that we also recently plant planted down this is a satsuma citrus and we're doing some peruvian peppers these are various um, aji varieties so we're gonna plant those down and over here we have um, more citrus trees that were recently planted like this Washington navel orange and then over there is um, the gold nugget mandarin and um, yeah also we are also going to start our uh, 2018 gardening year earlier this year normally around I think mid-February to March is when we start sowing seeds but we're gonna try to sow seeds early this year um, the goal is to squeeze another uh, planting cycle out of the year so we're trying to increase it from two to three trying varieties that grow in the cooler seasons like um, some varieties of watermelon and soybean and looking for those characteristics in some plants that grow in cooler weather so um, let's see before I sign off just want to show you some variegated nasturgeum and another type the flower is already done so it's not going to be that nice but this is a black velvet nasturgeum and then here is an experimental uh, patch of various interplanted crops like for instance here daikon and then underneath between the plants we have uh, spinach that's sowed there since spinach is a cool weather crop they probably will do better under the uh, canopy of larger plants like this cauliflower here and then this is Napa cabbage I guess Napa is turning out to be a good trap crop because the bugs are eating the Napa and we already harvested away some of the other greens that had virtually no holes on them without any pesticides or manual control like coming out and picking out the bugs well anyways um yeah so hopefully things will get a little bit easier around the house as far as um, being able to have free time to do more videos and and talking with everyone and catching up with uh, everyone who also have uh, channels with videos so uh, once again we'll see you soon and happy gardening